basically the goal of my uh, assignment is to redesign the experience of applying the learner's uh, license application to make it easy and quick. So make it easy and quick to complete the application is the primary goal. There are quite a few services that are being offered as part of Sarathi Parvahan, but for my uh, project, I am focusing on applying for a learner's license. Having said that, we'll proceed ahead. So my main intention here today uh, to present my uh, project in Feedback Friday session is to uh, receive feedback, obviously. Uh, feedback on the level of my problem solving, feedback on the level of uh, me thinking on the experience level, visual design feedback, and also it would be of great help or if somebody is coming from a development background, uh, where does my design lack? Uh, anything, basically any feedback I'm willing to take. This is the first touch point uh, for my design. <clears throat> so Sarathi Parivahan as a service is only uh, a user can actually make use of it only if they have an Aadhaar card. So what I've done is I brought that to the front. I don't want the user to go ahead and then realize that, okay, if I don't have an Aadhaar card, this is not for me. So what I've done is I've brought it back here uh, to the front. And if at all, if they don't have an Aadhaar card, it is mentioned below that they can directly proceed towards the RTO disabled. So in case if the OTP is entered wrong, there is an inline validation that is happening there. And then uh, the user has to go through the, uh, has to select everything uh, down there and then uh, unless they enter the right OTP, uh, the login will not be, CTA will not be enabled. So here's a screen where the OTP is successfully verified. And from here, this particular page, I have added it because uh, Sarathi Parivahan as a service, it is also having features where uh, it is allowing uh, driving school uh, people and agents uh, to apply on behalf of the applicant. So I would like, I wanted to give a individual flow for them. In this case, we are looking at the individual. So, so right now we'll be looking at the flow for LL that is apply for learner's license. Here, uh, the user will be made aware of what stages he will have to go through for a successful uh, process. And then when you click next, now here, I brought the fitness evaluation right to the beginning because rather than taking the user through the entire tedious process of filling up the form and everything, there I will say that he is not fit. And moreover, I would like to make sure that I give the license only to the people who are physically fit. So that's the reason why I have brought this here. So <clears throat> if they don't pass through this, if they don't qualify through this, they will not proceed ahead. If they qualify through this, uh, they will be proceeding ahead changes. Uh, my, my intention right now is I will take more feedback now from everybody and implement them at once. And then, you know, uh, I will upload it in my portfolio uh, finally. So now here, the purpose of you showing this, uh, this, this journey is so that the user is sort of aware of what to do, right? Yes. 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 So now when you have signature, no, can I sign on the website? Or do I have to upload the signature or something? I will only know once I come to that stage. Uh, yeah, probably you will know that uh, when I yeah. come to that stage. So the thing is, now I have to make sure that I have a digital signature. If you had the word upload signature and so just signature, that would have set the expectation really well. That would have made me ensure that, so here's the capture photo. I know, okay, so I, they, I, have, I have to make sure that my uh, laptop or whatever has a camera. Right. right. So I will prepare for that. Right. Now, signature, I'm not ready for until I come there. Correct. Okay, stay here. So now check this out, right? Earlier, you had icons to represent a big chunk of information. Yeah. And you had just a label. Yeah. So in the name of consistency, had you brought that here? So like a motorcycle without gear could be a scooty. An icon of a scooty. Motorcycle with gear could be like a bike. Correct. That would also easily be able, like users would be able to easily understand, okay, non-geared and geared vehicle and you have a description for people who want to understand what that is because here i am actually looking okay, gear no gear my eyes are just scanning this i'm not even reading the description yes yes right so an icon would have helped increase that speed as well sure. i can just glance through this and then just go to the next 
to sort of understand now that i understand the context do's and don'ts would have had much more uh appeal if it's if you had photographs to sort of show what not to pose oh yeah How visually to... right 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 and anyway going to be doing a visual uh demonstration in the next uh screen right, right. they'll ask you to smile or keep your head this way or whatever so you can have like don't keep your head this way like an x mark or something like that always right. keep it like this right. don't smile this way smile this way etc etc so you have that yeah if you can go to your other other uh, entry point yeah a little bit back one back. screen back this is so here screen. if you see there are only 11 digits not 12 digits in your hint <laughs> okay yes so there are few pattern i mean yeah there are minor issues kind of things mm-hmm. uh and also alignment issues like these are looking clean but when you navigate back so let's let's see your otp experience right mm-hmm. so you have error states which is handled really well like red boxes and all whereas when it was success state can you go to your success state here it doesn't reflect that it is successful as prominent as error state right okay with the input field uh... yeah and then your there is a zigzag for your movement of element so your text box is moving right 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 so there are minor issues kind of thing but more than that um the bigger question i wanted to ask you is like you mentioned you want to make it quick and easy easy yeah. right so now and i mean you interestingly showed what was the experience currently right like what how were those steps going on mm-hmm. but i am not sure like whether you focused on like what were making the journey painful right? ah. because you acted quick and easy were your metrics right yes. i mean yes but what was that thing in the existing experiences that it is making slow down like if you yeah. have identified those things and then you compared it both like existing and this thing this would be an amazing presentation like we could relate it like okay here you are solving few things right actually which is what, yeah Yeah. Oh, please, please go ahead. Please come. Please. So, which is what like once once your whole experience is done, the existing thing you started with your design and you started explaining like this is why I probably did it because of this this reason. Right. right. I mean, initially that reason, why did you choose that reason or why did you get a thought is not communicated in here, right? right. So that's that's kind of like setting expectations upfront. Right. So that kind of thing, if it is there, then all the things would flow into the picture. Got it. Got it. So yeah. So yeah. because if you see the controls of the camera, they are almost below the fold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So there are critical actions. Even if you go to your things like uh, form, uh, what was it? Slot selection and all. Those are also at the below the fold. Below the one. The user right? has to scroll. Yeah. So I mean, it is not as you intended, but. as per your aspect ratio aspect it's reflecting ratio. that way right if we talk about form design again there are you know five goals you know five high level goals right which is setting the right expectations so that you know the user is uh, you know ready to fill the form right then collecting the <clears throat> helping the user uh, you know enter the correct information for whatever information that you are collecting helping the users uh, you know enter i mean take correct actions mm-hmm. right and then the, you know the fourth one is uh, uh, you know by giving feedback whatever user has done is correct or wrong or how are they performing right mm-hmm. and the final one is basically helping the users if they need right so what i would say is from the perspective of setting the expectations there are some data points i can talk with you so uh, whenever you design your <coughs> uh, you know screens right there are certain things that you can do to habituate your users to your designs okay right so for example go back uh, go to the previous screen so draw right so when you want to go back you will click here yes yes right now go next now you will click here right go next okay it's not there let's go next <clears throat> now you will click here right now let us say you have a, a lot of steps in your form right but you are designing it so that your users can be habituated to use it and 
you are talking about making it easy and you know efficient right now they have to move their mouse from here and there if they want to go back you know five steps back right they'll have to figure out which po- by which position yes, you know they yes. have to go back right so i think that's one principle that you can use that you know fix a position so that you know if they want to go six steps back they can fix a position and just click 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 and they are going back so there is an interesting discussion going on about text versus icon right what i would say is when the terminologies are very very new and uh, reading is required more than recognition you focus more on labels because if you don't know about learner's license you can you can know uh, i mean there is no way you can recognize what the icon is about mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so here iconography takes a little bit less precedence because you know learner's license and then driving license there are and then there are other terminologies right mm-hmm. so rather than having to uh, you know trying to re- recognize what that icon is about it's much more helpful for uh, users to read what is it about it's actually quicker <laughs> right right it's quicker, quicker right but now when you look at the other side of it when you talked about uh, what kind of license are you uh, applying for right simran talked about bike versus car right mm-hmm. you know? mm-hmm. their reading is harder but recognizing is easy because you already know two wheel four wheel and things like that yes yes right yes. so in that kind of context if you apply it will make sense is it because those icons are very easily recognizable <coughs> because your intention is to recognize oh okay right rather than reading two wheels if you uh, re- you know see two circles it's much more easy for you to recognize right Correct. one sec- one second versus half a second yes yes right yes. yeah so that is one right but let's go back to that uh, screen again that uh, lldl and all those things were there <clears throat> now all these things are dependent on what state are you selecting yes right but that looks like a global selector right not a preliminary selector right i mean by looking at the position of it you can not understand right that this is something that you have to select so that you can apply for your learning license Mm-hmm. right so this should be first step and the second step should be learner's license okay right because states have different ways different forms and you don't know what different rules are there right right, right. right? so if this is the first step right it is looking like it is not the first step it is something like you know just how you change the language you are just changing the stage uh, state that's it right, right. <coughs> so that is expectation setting is little bit of not i mean it's not working okay sir regardless of automation right okay. again if you are talking about automation you need to take care of user control and freedom just in case the automation is not working okay. right okay. okay okay but in both the cases you should be able to inform the users that this is a selection that i am doing uh, on behalf of yourself if i am correct let me do it if i am not correct you can change it okay right so that's a prerequisite for you to be able to apply for learner's license isn't it done right right hmm. or even after i think it can be done even after saying that i want to apply for learner's license and then you can select the state anyway it works but you know the steps that are later are dependent on these both the things these both choices right right got right. it it's clear now cool that's one let's go to next <clears throat> next screen yeah okay yeah this one right now i have question for all of you except achyut quickly tell me how many steps are there quick how many steps are there nobody eight. okay it it took uh, apurva some 5 7 odd seconds to realize how many steps are there right that's where the principle of recognition rather than recall comes in 
right if you count and tell them uh, i mean it's also i mean you are trying to build a relationship with your user by you know helping them uh, you know along the way right Thanks. it's like you know okay these are the steps right but these are eight so that you don't have to count them when you because that's what that's what your goal is here right you are showing the quantity of it right, right. Right. So rather than uh, making them recall or you know put cognitive effort to count it, you can show it here. Okay, right. Eight now steps. that thing, let us say you are in the signature stage, mm-hmm. right? You don't know how many steps are left for you, right? Because you saw when uh, you were starting to fill the form. but okay again attention span you know it's ma- to manage the attention span it's very tricky situation right. right but again to build a relationship with your user helping them in every step of the way you can try something like that that's again recognition rather than recall these right. many steps are done here you are right mm-hmm. these many steps are left the right. other thing also i would say is for the help part right help part i'm sorry help part so you have a signature upload section somewhere right one second this one yeah okay a signature is here yeah yeah there also you can show what a good signature looks like mm-hmm. right and also jpg png pdf right now they can upload 1 gb of jpg then you your system will go crazy right or they'll put uh, 2 kb of jpg with just 10 10 into 20 uh, you know 20 pixels that will be very small right, right? so re- setting the right expectation and again you know helping them to resolve it is something also you can look at it here right so yeah these were the small small uh, you know feedback here and there but on an overall that is what i would uh, tell to you right uh, first is basically rec- recognition rather than recall where mm-hmm. do you need recognition where do you need rec- uh, reading uh, you can be a little bit of uh, you know careful about it and once you know this language right it will be very easy for you to implement right and also the other thing is designing the experience or the you know screen in a way in which people can be habituated to it right, right? for example when you use uh, android or you know iphone right there is only one way you can go back correct. in one position correct right so it's very it becomes very easy for you to uh, you know use it later as well <laughs>